Begin in hero pose with your sit bones on your heels, hands in your lap. And take a long deep breath in and a long breath out. Hands slide out in front of you, come to hands and knees, and then lift your hips up to the sky in downward dog. Now inhale, wave the spine forward to plank pose. And when you exhale, pull from the pit of your belly all the way back to downward dog. Inhale, wave forward, shoulders go away from the ears. And exhale, pull back from the core. Inhale, one more time, going forward. And exhale, pulling all the way back. This time, inhale, come forward. And when you exhale, bring your knees down and then your chest to the earth. Inhale, lift your chest for cobra. And when you exhale, release and melt back to downward facing dog. And then in your downward dog, take a long deep breath. Relax your head completely. And then go ahead, inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. And exhale, release it back down. Inhale, left leg to the sky. And exhale, release it. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Bring the left knee to the ground. Inhale, interlace your fingers above your head. Stretch long with the spine. Navel lifts. And when you exhale, release the hands on the inside of your right foot. Lift your left knee. And then when you exhale, the next time, turn towards your left knee. Good. Straighten the right leg. Inhale, come back forward to your right foot. Exhale, step to plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, knees and chest to the ground. Lift for cobra, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. And exhale, release the foot. Inhale, lift your left leg. And exhale, step your foot between your hands. Bring your right knee to the ground, interlace your fingers above your head, lengthen your spine. And the next time you exhale, release the fingertips down on the inside of your left foot. Straighten your right leg, inhale. Exhale, turn towards your right foot and straighten out the left leg, Skandhasana. Inhale, come back forward to the left foot, press the hands down. Exhale, steady hips as you step to plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, knees and chest to the ground. Heart goes up, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your right leg up into the sky. Exhale, bring your knee to the chest and then move it a little bit more to the right, tapping the right upper arm if you can, and then step the foot between your hands. Keep the left knee away from the ground, interlace your fingers behind your back, lift your chest to the sky. And then when you exhale, hands come down on the inside of your foot and again skandhasana towards the left. If you want to, this time hands in front of your chest. And then inhale, walk forward to your right foot. Now step to plank pose. And then bend your knees to the ground and bend your elbows halfway, like a half chaturanga. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, halfway. And then lift forward and up to upper dog. Exhale, pull from your core to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee forward and then see if you can tap your left upper arm. And exhale, step the foot between your hands. Interlace your fingers behind your back, lift your chest to the sky, keep the navel lifted. And exhale, hands come down next to your foot. Turn towards your right foot, bend your right knee, maybe hands in front of your chest. And then your next inhalation brings you back forward. Exhale, step to plank, knees to the ground, bend your elbows halfway. And then inhale, press back up. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift the knees and the hips. Exhale, from the core, downward facing dog. Last round here. Inhale, bring your right leg up into the sky. And exhale, this time cross it over towards the left for a little twist. Then place the foot between your hands. Bring your left knee down to start. And then lift your arms to the sky. Inhale. 
Exhale, twist, left elbow to right knee. Feel if you can bring your left hand on your heart, your right arm up to the sky. And if you want to, first look down and then straighten your left leg. If you can, look up again. And exhale, release. Turn towards your left leg for one more skandhasana. If you want to, lift your right toes and open both arms. And then windmill the arms forward, turn to your right foot, step to plank pose. Either do that same little push-up with the knees down or with the knees up, inhale. And then exhale, come to Chaturanga, heart to the sky for upper dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale for the left leg, lift it all the way back and up. And exhale, knee to chest, cross it towards the right. Then foot between your hands, bring your right knee down, lift your arms to the sky on your inhalation. And exhale, twist, right elbow to left knee. Bring your right hand to your heart, your left arm up to the sky. And again, if you want to, look down and then straighten your right leg. Lift a little bit more with that left arm. And exhale, release the hands. Shift towards your right foot for one more skandhasana here. Either stay high or go a little bit deeper, but keep your right heel on the earth. Maybe hands in front of the chest or arms wide. And then windmill the arms forward. Step to plank pose. Choose your way to push up, knees down or up. Inhale down, exhale up one more time and then lift your chest for upward facing dog and exhale downward dog use your core to step over the feet and then from here slowly bring your knees to the ground you can bring them nice and wide and bring the elbows in front of you with the hands touching above your head so feel gentle or maybe a bigger stretch through the armpits the chest And then let that slowly go and bring your right arm in front of you, left arm underneath right for a little bit of a stretch between the shoulder blades. Make sure the sit bones relax to the heels. And then find the same stretch on the other side, right arm underneath left. Breathe in the place where you feel the sensation most. And then very slowly begin to come out of the pose. Bring your arms forward and then Come all the way down onto your belly. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Make sure that that's the case. Sphinx pose. If it feels all right in your low back, straighten your arms for seal pose. And then release. Bring your cheek on your hands and rock your hips from side to side. Relax your lower back. Now you can either go for a regular Shavasana, so then you turn onto your back, or you can stay for a little belly Shavasana. So then you bring your elbows in line with your shoulders, like cactus arms, and make sure one cheek is resting down. We'll switch sides halfway. And really breathe down into your belly. So if you are on your belly, this is very healing for the digestive system. So go ahead, turn your head the other way if you are on your belly. And completely relax wherever you ended up. And like always, feel free to stay here for as long as you feel like. Otherwise, very slowly bring your hands in front of your eyebrows. Namaste.